Hi, we're going to give this part a try. Uh, the difference between this one and the previous one you just did, that one, is this one is in metric. So we're going to be millimeters. So here we go. Let's open up Inventor, and you want to make sure you hit uh, the new and change it right here where it says metric. And then click millimeters right there, standard millimeters, and hit create. There we go. So same kind of start. We'll start with a 2D sketch on the XY plane. I'm gonna click with the you know the center mouse button there and drag it over. And I'm gonna start with right on the origin. I'm gonna go vertical line up, not really paying attention too much to dimensions. I just want to make a shape that looks relatively the same as what we're doing again as I scroll up here you'll see a black dotted line right there or I'm sorry black solid line that means that it is the same height it's parallel with the line across from it I'll go over down and then reconnect there should be like there's that green dot okay I'm gonna start dimensioning so as I go down here this is 60 millimeters you see it just got a little bit bigger so again double click the center mouse button I'm going to make uh, this one is 40. Zoom out a little bit. This one is 15. That is 10. Um, this one over here is 25. So I'm, I'm just kind of hovering over. Um, and then is that everything? I, I think so. So we don't need to do this one because it already has it for us, right? So anything in parentheses, the computer's already doing the math for you. So it says 60 minus 25 minus 10 is 25 there. So I don't need it. I can't adjust it. I'm just going to click on it one time and then hit the delete button. Not the backspace button, the delete button on there. Finish your sketch. Zoom out a little bit. Click the extrude. Uh, this wants to be 30 millimeters. I'm going to left click on the side and go to create sketch. And then project geometry. Like, I just love using this button because when you do it, it just outlines everything for you, makes it easy. So now I know I'm definitely on that sketch. Grab a rectangle, draw a rectangle. Um, the width of the rectangle, we want to be. 15, the height of the rectangle, we want to be 10, and now we need to, you always dimension for size and then dimension for location. Sometimes you do the location first. So I'm going to dimension for location here. So um, on that side, I want it to be 3 millimeters from the side, and I want it to be 5 millimeters from the bottom. So I'm going to click on the horizontal green line and then the horizontal yellow line right below it click it and make that five finish that sketch click extrude I want to make sure that I click this you can kind of see it kind of changes shade sometimes it's easy sometimes it's not I want to go into the part and I want to go all the way through so I'm going to click this down go all hit OK hit my home button oh it flipped why is it flip well we can fix that. So I'm going to hit front, rotate it. I'm going to grab this top corner. I want to make this top corner. I want to make that. That is my isometric. So I'm going to right click on that, set my current view as home. There we go. So I've got front, top. I've got my home. There we go. I'm done. Let's just save it. File, save as. Again, make sure it is in your Google Drive in your my folders in your introduction to engineering design folder call this part b and your initials hit the save button flip your cup to red call your teacher over have him or her grade it good job see you later